There were small anti-U.S. demonstrations in Indonesia today and in Oman on the Persian Gulf. There were substantial anti-American outbursts in Egypt and Lebanon. A senior official in one of the Gulf states said, we're in a state of shock. And in the Palestinian territory, some Palestinians ended up defying their own authorities to demonstrate. Here's ABC's Richard Gisbert. The protest started at Gaza's Islamic University. About a thousand students saluting Osama bin Laden, urging him to hit back at the U.S. Their posters called bin Laden the leader of all holy warriors. This is a side of Palestinian public opinion authorities here want suppressed. They tried to ban this march, and when that failed, they tried to ban the media from covering it. Then the shooting started. Palestinian against Palestinian. Police against armed Islamic militants. Three people killed, one a 13-year-old boy, another 45 hurt. The protesters denounced their police as traitors. So Yasser Arafat has an acute version of a problem that many Arab leaders now face. Many of his people see Osama bin Laden as someone who speaks up for them. And those same people may now see Yasser Arafat as just one more Arab leader on the same side as the U.S. Richard Gisbert, ABC News, Jerusalem. When we come back, fearful about security at home and supporting the campaign overseas.